What is up everyone? Welcome back to another Morales tutorial video in which you're going to check out the Morales stream extension for Firebase. What Morales streams API is, it's a blockchain listener, which allows you to listen to any events occurring on EVM chains, whether it be a native transaction for a cryptocurrency wallet or a smart contract event, ERC 20 tokens being transferred, NFTs being minted, you name it, you can listen to it using Morales streams. Here I've set up a stream on Morales for my Polygon testnet native transaction. So I have this wallet, over here, account one here on MetaMask, and we've been listening to all the native transactions of Matic being sent from the wallet and being received by the wallet over here in this app. And where this data is stored is the Firestore database on Firebase. And we have all these documents over here. And in each document, we have information about the transaction, the from address, the chain ID, and the gas price, the block the two address and the value that was being sent. And lastly, I wanna to show to you, it's real time. So if we open up MetaMask over here, we're on account one, we send to one of my accounts, account four over here, we send one Matic, let's press next. Let's confirm this transaction. And as we're waiting for it to go through, it should be up updated over here into our React app as it goes through. And look at that, it's just gone through even faster processing than MetaMask itself. We just sent one Matic from our account to our account four over here and the amount is updated over here. And we also see this on our Firestore database over here. Our latest transaction is that one Matic and we have all the details of that transaction in there. So if this sounds cool to you, stay stuck in and I'll show you how to build this. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020, and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym, and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. Rightio, let's kick this project off in our Firebase admin dashboard. We have this project open called Morales API Call. So if you don't have a project, go ahead and create yourself a project. Then go ahead into the bottom over here where you can modify your plan from the Spark plan to the Blaze plan because we'll be using the Secret Manager API, which requires you to be on the Blaze plan. So that's why we have to upgrade to the Blaze plan. When you're doing initial testing, you won't have to pay for anything. So you should be fine with that. Now, just keep in mind, if your app starts getting a lot of traction or you start using streams a whole lot, then you should definitely track your usage so you don't get any support surprise costs. Now, after this, we don't need anything else from Firebase. We can jump straight into our IDE and I use Visual Studio Code. You can jump into whatever you use. Right now in our IDE, we have this project called Streams Open. Open up a repository where you want to set up your Firebase CLI. And in the terminal, go ahead and run sudo npm install g Firebase tools. This will just get your system set up with Firebase. I already have it installed, so I won't run this. But after you have Firebase installed, you can run Firebase login to log in to your Firebase account in your terminal. I'm already logged in as Johani at Morales.io, but if you're not, the terminal will prompt you to your browser where you can log in and jumping back in, you'll be logged in to your Firebase account. And then you can initialize a Firebase project by running Firebase in it. And we'll initialize ours with hosting just if you want to host your website for the public, but you could just use the terminal interface to choose which features of Firebase you want to initialize. Then we'll choose an existing project. Ours was called Morales API Calls. Then for hosting, we have to set the route where our website will be held. So we'll eventually create a folder in a front end folder called build, where we can have a React app build and that will be hosted on the website. You don't have to configure it as a single page web app, nor do automatic builds for GitHub. And now your Firebase project is initialized in the streams folder over here and you have this Firebase JSON file. There's also this automatically generated front end folder, but down the line in this video, I'll give you a repository of a sample React app we can replace this front end folder with. But now for installing the Morales streams extension for Firebase, in the command line, write Firebase ext colon install Morales slash Morales streams. It's that easy. Just press enter. Then for the first prompt, just press yes. Check Iowa US Central as the server. And we'll store our Morales API key on the Google Cloud Secret Manager. But here we might face an error. See, we may face an error because this project isn't initialized with the Secret Manager API key. What you'll have to do is click this link over here, jump into your browser and open it up. And although it says the Secret Manager is set up, I usually find I disable the API. It prompts me back to this page and I enable it again. Wait for a few minutes for these changes to propagate to the Google Cloud servers. Now that we've enabled our Secret Manager API to Visual Studio Code and wait for a few minutes and then we'll run the same extensions installation command again. Radio. So I've waited about two minutes now and I think the changes have propagated to the Google servers. Let's press the arrow key up and we can run the same command again to install Morales Streams. It goes through the same process and for the first prompt again, let's go ahead and press yes. 
check the Iowa US Central server, store our Morales API key on the Google Cloud Secret Manager, and now it asks us to prompt our Morales API key. Now getting our Morales API key, go to Google Chrome, log in to your Morales admin dashboard, and go over here to streams. We'll be working here anyways, and you have your project API key, which you can copy from here and jump back into Visual Studio Code. When you paste it, it will be hidden. You should see this tab move a little to the right, like so. So now it's pasted and press enter. And literally that is how easy it is. Now you have the extension ready in your project here in the streams folder. And now we can go ahead and deploy it to our actual Firebase project by running Firebase deploy only extensions. Run that in the command line, Firebase deploy dash dash only extensions. Press enter and watch the magic happen as the Morales streams extension is being installed for the prompts. Go ahead and just press yes. And it'll just verify the secret parameters and start installing the extension for your project. We can actually follow the process by jumping into Google Chrome and our Firebase project in the build file over here, check extensions and see what we have here. Listen to the blockchain by Morales streams. And you see this nice progress bar going around the circle over here. And you can also follow it in your Visual Studio code, but there's no interface to kind of follow with the progress. But as you see, it should take about three to five minutes. So I'll return to you when this is finished and we'll continue from there. Radio, that was actually relatively quick, only took about two minutes for my case. Listening to blockchain by Morales Streams is now installed to my Firebridge project and we can open and manage it. And why I opened it is because we have this set of rules we have to set for our Firestore to only allow our extension to update the Firestore with new events that are happening on the blockchain so that no one who's connected to the database, for example, through our app, can make changes to our data in the database. That should only have streams data on updates of events that are occurring on the blockchain. So go ahead and copy over this bit of code over here, jump back into the build folder and check Firestore database. Go ahead and create a database. We'll start it in test mode and then go next, enable, and it's provisioning our cloud Firestore. And that was created, perfect. And go over to the top over here, we have the rules tab where we can now paste the copied text we have from the extension. So it already preset with some rules, but we'll use our specific rules that only allowed reading of our Morales streams and not editing them. We leave the editing for the Morales extension. Now with that, we publish. And here on the left, you see this nice little tab where you can go back to the old rules. But now we're using this new set of rules that was set today by the Morales extension. Now jump back in the data. It is a empty database at the moment, but after we hook up streams, we'll start seeing this database be populated with data of events that we want to look at through Morales streams. Last thing I'll have you do in the Firebase admin dashboard is go to the builder section over here, jump into functions, and you have this Morales streams webhook function. And this is here because it was created by the extension and you have this request URL. This will be the webhook URL you'll need in your Morales admin dashboard to allow you to connect Morales and Firebase. So copy that and now you're ready to jump back in. We'll actually jump into the Firestore so we can see this when we come back here, but now jump into the Morales admin dashboard and you should already be in the stream sections and let's start working over here by creating a new stream. All right, now Morale Streams is very cool. We have a few templates for you. If you want to look in your favorite NFT collections, we have the ERC721 transfer streams, wallet transfers, if you want to check out major whales moving their assets, or if you want to check out ENS domains being minted, we have that as well. Or you can create your very own stream, and that's what we'll do here now. We'll just create a very basic one. So you, first of all, you have to select a crypto address, whether it be a contract or a wallet address. For this test case, we'll use our own wallet over here. So we have account one over here and we can copy this address and just paste it in here and just making sure that we're on the polygon mumbai testnet so we'll be listening to events native transactions on the polygon mumbai testnet you can go ahead and give the stream a description so you can identify it easy on the morales admin dashboard my polygon testnet native transactions the webhook url we just copied from firebase so paste that in here just making sure you remember where this comes from is it comes from the functions folder here in firebase admin dashboard and it's this url over here and then give a tag. This is important because this is what the database on Firebase side will be called as well. So we'll just call it Polygon Testnet over here. Then scrolling down, select the networks we'll be interested in. For our case, we'll just be interested in the Polygon Mumbai network, but you could choose multiple chains if you wanted to, or just go for Ethereum or any EVM compatible chain. Look, there's a lot of different options. 
and then go ahead and select which sort of address activity we're interested in. We'll look at native transactions, but you could look at contract interactions, internal interactions, and so on and so forth. And now if you were looking at a smart contract, you check the event emittance and paste the contract's application binary interface over here. And from there, you could select any events that that smart contract emits and listen to those. And in the bottom over here, if you wanted to add some advanced options like filtering transactions that are only above a certain threshold value, you could do that here, but we won't do that for our simple case. Now we'll just create this simple stream and success. Our new stream is created polygon testnet and the description, my polygon testnet native transactions. I don't know if you'll believe it, but that's all you have to do. Now we're all hooked up with Morales and Firebase streams extension, and we're ready to start listening to blockchain events that are occurring. So jump back into the Firestore database over here, and let's make a simple transaction. Open up MetaMask over here. Let's go ahead and send some native currency, so Matic, to one of my accounts. So send it to account two over here. Let's send five Matic. Click next, confirm the transaction. It's being sent right now. And that's gone through. See, our balance has gone down from 30 to 25. Now, for the first time, you'll have to refresh Firestore because it'll initialize the first database for you. But you should see a Morales database with transactions and the Polygon testnet jump over here. And we have our first document. This is our transaction on the Polygon Mumbai testnet. We have the from address over here. Then we also have a to address. And at the bottom, we have the value of five Matic being sent and all this other data as well that we can use as we wish the block timestamp block number, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Now let's see if we go back to account two who just re received the money. So jump back in here, select account two, and let's send back the money or a part of it. So transfer between accounts, send to account one, we'll send two Matic of the five Matic back, press next, and confirm this transaction. And now we should see as this is sent a new transaction added to our Firestore database. And look at that, even before it was handled by MetaMask, the new transaction has been added to our Firestore. Check it over here. From our address account two to our ac address account one, we just sent to Matic. And now MetaMask should have already processed it as well. Two Matic has been sent. We've gone down from 19 to 17 and account one over here has gone back up from 25 to 27. So we're listening to real time blockchain events using Morales streams and the Firebase Firestore database. How cool is that? Now let's finally check out how we can hook this up with a website, for example. So jump back over here into project overview and go ahead and press this web icon over here and we'll create a testing app. Testing, register the app. Now this will give you this Firebase config file, which you'll have to copy. And then we'll jump back into Visual Studio Code where I'll have a sample React repo where you can paste your own Firebase config and we can see these real time blockchain updates on a React app. So now jump back into Visual Studio Code. And in here, we of course initialized a front end folder, but we'll import a React app that there will be a link to in the description if you wanna check it out yourself. So let me just bring it in over here, like so. So now we have this front end folder over here, which consists of a React app here in the source folder. We have a app.js and a index.js. Look at this, it's a React app. Now checking the app.js file. And before we check this out, let's go ahead and CD into the front end folder here in our terminal and npm I to install all the dependencies of this React project. Now close this while the dependencies are installing and let's check this out. All we're doing here is we're initializing our Firebase app. We're using the Firestore library to get functionality which will allow us to read our Firestore database. So in our Firebase admin dashboard, the Firestore database, we want to be able to read all these documents over here in our Firestore Polygon testnet collection. So these will allow us to do that. And here we have the Firebase config, which we already copied. So paste those keys in here, like so. And of course, you'll need to use your own. So go get them from Firebase. If you've already lost it by the time of this tutorial, let's check how you get them again. So in your Firebase admin dashboard, you'll have your apps over here. You have the testing app press the cog over here. And when you scroll to the bottom, you have this Firebase config file, which you can copy. Now jumping back into Visual Studio Code, what we do is we're initializing our app, then we're getting the Firestore database, which we're storing in this database variable over here. And on mount of the React component, what we're doing 
is we're querying our Morales Transactions Polygon Testnet collection. And then we create this on snapshot listener, which every time this collection changes, so a new stream is added, we get the data of each document in this collection and push it to this temporary transactions array. And then we set this global state variable called set transactions to the temporary transactions, which has all the transaction data. So in this case, if we check out our Firestore database, go to Polygon Testnet over here, we'll have an array filled with two objects with all these key value pairs in each object. That's all we do. And in the app, what we're rendering is as long as we have this transaction state variable, we're mapping through it and we're creating table rows where we have the from address, the to address, and the value that was sent divided by 18 decimals, because of course, Matic has 18 decimals and that's all there is to it. So let's save this for now. And if you would like to, you could host this, but in this example, let's just run this locally. So open this up and go ahead and in the terminal run NPM run start, ensuring you're in the front end directory. On my device, this automatically opens up localhost 3000, but if it doesn't open up your browser and just navigate to localhost 3000 and you'll have this app, Firebase Morales Streams extension. And look at this, we have the two transactions we've made and we've been listening to using Morales Streams. And we have the from address and to address and the amount, which was first five Matic and then two Matic. And we can now test this out. We'll get live updates by sending a transaction. So on account one, which is the account we're listening to streams for, we send, Let's send to account three this time. So we'll get a new address. Let's send seven Matic to this account. Press next, scroll down and confirm. And while that's sending after it's sent, it should automatically be updated onto our app. And look at that. We have a new row in our react app. Now it's gone through here and MetaMask shows that the 27 Matic is now 20 Matic. And we've transferred from the account we're listening to to this account three, seven Matic. And you could populate this with any of the other data that we have over here in each of these streams we've listened to. And that is how simple it is to set up blockchain listeners for your app. Hopefully this video was useful for you and you find great ways to use Morales streams in your projects. Remember to please leave a like and subscribe in the description below. There'll also be a link to sign up for Morales. So do that if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.